All right, welcome back today, guys, to a new Harman Simulator 22 mod showcase. All of these mods can be found in the description below at the Farming Simulator Mod Hub official website. So we have, first up, we have the Lizard Maverick X3. We have the Lizard D47. I threw in a little trailer. This is a new trailer, according to their website, just to hopefully tow behind the Maverick. And we have the newly updated this truck with this 08 style front end, I believe is what they call it. Has been out for quite a while now. Uh, they also had it out for a farming simulator 2019. But they recently updated it to have a newer um, 2021 grill with 2010 style headlights and bumpers. And this is kind of just what the truck looks like when you get it. I went ahead and put on a different front end. It does have a long bed and a short bed version. This is the bed that would go on the truck. This, of course, is the single cab version. They also have a quad cab or crew cab. And three different bed options. There are, well, I guess four different bed options. There is two different types of flat beds. You can see this one just has a hitch integrated into it, and this one has more of a step down. Uh, they are both very similar. This one has a slight lip along the edge. Uh, the headache racks, or cab racks, whatever you want to call them, are slightly different. They also do have a service body. Uh, the service body does not work as far as putting tools in it, but it does have a strap in it and a hitch option. So let's go ahead and start off. We'll go ahead and look at the mods. Two of them are in the cars page. We can go ahead and look at the Maverick X3 first. Uh, so there are plenty of different options to customize this vehicle to however you'd like. There are multiple different engine options. There is a 150 horsepower, 200, 250, 300, and a 400 option, and a kind of a broken option. So the version we have is the 400 horsepower version. We'll go ahead and try that in a few moments. A couple different tire options, as you can tell. A couple different rim options. You can also get, not sure if you can see it where we're at, an optional glove box. Yes, you can see it. You can also change the grill colors, as you can see right here. There are also DRLs in the headlights. You can have angel eyes or angel eyes with eyelashes. You can as well change the side colors of the panel up there, as you can tell. As far as rear accessories, we can get a spare tire, a lower wing, or a higher wing. Body panels. You can change what body panels are actually on the vehicle. You can remove the roof, you can remove the front. I want to say they're called fairings. Uh, you can add different light bars and whatnot. As far as attachers, we can get a three-point, which is kind of handy, and a standard hitch. There are multiple different antennas or whips. Uh, front glass, rear glass, front and rear, and a roof rack, as well as tons of different color options for the uh, metal frame of the vehicle. You can change the body panel colors, you can change decal colors, you can change the plastic colors, you can change rim colors. There are all different types of color options you can do. So we can go ahead and pop back out of here. Uh, next, we have the F-350 and the F-350 crew cab. So we'll go ahead and look at the crew cab version, personally my favorite. You can do different colored interiors. As you can tell, you can change the center console and the door card colors. Uh, you can get it in a automatic or a manual version of the truck. Uh, automatic is going to run you about $500 more. You can also do different wheel tire sizes and widths as well as a dually version 
and multiple different types of rims, whatever you feel like looks best on the truck. As far as front grille, this is the newer part of the mod. You can get multiple different options for the 2008 style grill, as far and as well as the Raptor style grill, and a 2010 version and a 2021 version of the grill. So, as far as back to the interior, you can also change the entire interior color if you changed it up here. You can also change that to match. And as far as bumpers, we can change it to primary, secondary colors, um, iron, black iron, and a 2010 style bumper, and a 2021 style bumper. Extensions here. We have different style fender flares. You can add on as well. And headlights, there are a bunch of different options, as you can tell. Raptor options, 2008, 2008 modified, 2010. Uh, yeah. All right, and we've got a couple different light bars, a snorkel, snorkel light bar, you kind of get it. You can even change the latch color on the truck and add steps with different types of exhaust. All right, so down here we've got, um, looks like, a front guard on the vehicle. Looks like we've got a three-point mount. We've got just the plastic wind guard or whatever they call that down there. And full body, or full front end, and just a bull style bar as well. As far as attachers, we can have a long chassis, long bed, or a standard short bed. As well with this mod, you can also change the width of the vehicle if desired, whatever you guys think looks best, and as well as beacons and different sticker options on the side of the cab. So, same thing with this truck, just a little bit different due to it being a single cab. It has all of the same uh, modifications you can do to it. So as far as the trailer, let's go ahead and pop over here to trailers. And it should be right here. The Lizard D47. So the base trailer weighs 2.3 tons and you can carry 4.2 cubic meters. As far as capacity, we have 4,200. We have a bale trailer version, two different bale trailer versions. Capacity of 6,400, 6,000, a different 6,400 instead of wood. We have a corrugated style metal extension. Once again, another extension for potentially a tarp. An 8,600 capacity and back down to the 4200. As far as wheel setup options, we have the standard. We have more of a, an aggressive looking tire. And we have these smaller ones, which is what we chose for the side-by-side, -side, just to make it a little bit shorter. And as far as the sides, depending on what you think looks best, we have corrugated sides or we have flat sides. There are different floor options as well. As you can tell, it adds little bits of extra stuff on the outside. And we can also change the reflectors on the flaps. As well as a slow-moving vehicle warning triangle. You can also choose from a couple different decals. They just put them kind of around different sides of the vehicle, of the trailer, sorry, and the same license plates. And as far as color, once again, this one's also very customizable. You can choose from a variety of different options, 
You can even change the little centers there. I'm sure what changed with that one. Uh, potentially the rim. Nope. No idea. And as far as rims, you can also change those as well. So, go ahead and pop out of here. And we'll start off with the F350. We'll go ahead and throw on the normal style bed. Hey, okay, I'm sure why that one actually uh, is not attaching. I potentially chose the wrong size frame for the wrong size bed. We'll determine that. Yep. I accidentally chose the wrong size frame. Alright, shoot, where do I go? There we go. We'll go ahead and fly all the way down here to the correct bed option. And let's go ahead and pick this up. As you can tell, normal body, short body for every different type. And we'll go ahead and pop over here. And yep, there we go. Go ahead and get this attached. As you can tell, Headlights and fog lights do work. Trailer, tailgate, they call it a trailer, but tailgate does fold, as well as the mirrors, and as well as you can lift or lower the rear end. This truck does have a top speed of 93 mile an hour. Go ahead and not run into the car. Go ahead and take it out in this field and test it out. A little slow, like a lot of diesels, to get off the line. But it does have very good handling and it does a very good job towing trailers. We will go ahead and try to hook the Lizard trailer up to this now. Not much to showcase on that, other than it goes and you can fill it up with stuff. Okay, we don't have, oh, we did not add an, a hitch option onto the truck, that is why. So, it does have suspension that does flex, as you can tell. This truck, personally, I think is an amazing vehicle. I think the creator did very well, and the author is Agro Tanho. I know I probably said that wrong, but that is who it is. Once again, links will be down in the description below. So, as you can tell, we're going to check out this Maverick X3. It does have a top speed of 86 mile per hour and engageable and disengageable four wheel drive. So let's try and take it up here real fast. Uh, interior is very nice, uh, looks just like it should be. Suspension seems to work very well. Let's see if we can check to see how this four wheel drive works. Let's see if we can do it on this. This will probably just drive right up at normal. Okay, four wheel drive is engaged and now disengaged. So, yeah, four wheel drive does in fact work. And suspension seems to do exactly what it should. Go ahead and race back to the trailer and we'll go ahead and hook it up to this. If not, I'll go ahead and throw in a tractor and we can take a look at that trailer real fast. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, we are hooked up, and we can also check the towing ability of the Maverick X3. It seems to do just fine until you uh, go too fast around the turn. The most comparable option to the X3 in game will be the John Deere XUV 865M, which it does have an enclosed cab, a in 23 horsepower with a top speed of 31 mile an hour, or the Mahindra Retriever 1000 at 83 horsepower and 60 mile an hour. As everybody probably knows, attachers are same as what you can get with the X3. Sounds pretty good. I think it's pretty close to what I would say the real thing. Um, I wouldn't say it's 100% perfect, but what mod is. But otherwise, overall, still an amazing looking mod and still a mod that I will use. Yeah, as you can tell, suspension does work. Pop it up here. So we can kind of see it. Yeah, you can see it compress and decompress on the other side. This side should be compressed. And this side is flexed. Yeah, looks amazing. The it's like the hydraulic hookup kind of got a little weird, went into the rear plastics. But what can you expect? Not every single one is compatible. It's kind of how it is. So yeah, if uh, you guys enjoyed this video, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, the links are down in the comment section below. I will tag pretty much every mod that I can and am allowed to. And thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you all later.